Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty. We're back here in the West Coast Conference Championship game for the second straight season. Last year, we ended by way of maybe a second half collapse versus Pepperdine where we did miss the NCAA tournament, and we went on to the NIT where we lost in the championship game. But now here we are once again, back to play yet another year, another championship game we're playing for. And this time it's for the conference. The first time here in the West Coast Conference, if we do win this game, it will be our first ring here as we won our first ring in conference play in the Big West in season one. It's been that long. So let's see if we can get to the NCAA tournament for the first time in four seasons. So let's get this game underway we do start out with possession and Gonzaga has had our number swept us twice this season already and here we are in our first possession working around Douglas Taylor on the inside getting his man in the air and we get the early two-point lead is now here we are down by two points there's good defense inside by Solomon Teixeira now remember our defense has been quite a bit better since we put him into the lineup because he is a seven footer and there is Douglas Taylor with two quick buckets it's an early four point lead here's Gonzaga on offense and that shot is going to be good Gonzaga is a pretty good team they will probably make the tournament no matter what and that is a shot by Jaden Brown on the inside but followed up by uh, and one on the opposite end by James Quick and let's see what he can do in this game and see if he can jolt us because remember he took over as a starting point guard once Michael Workman went out and now we take the early 6-2 lead after he misses the free throw so here we are on defense there is a three this time and that is hit by Jaden Brown the senior and now it's an early two-point game but here's James Quick working off a pick and roll and he's getting going early that is a foul on Tyrone Washington and now eight to four game is now looking for a pick. This is Monsetti with the ball this time. He gets all the way to the basket. We need to see this guy get involved early on because we've seen that Monsetti can get cold if you do leave him out of the game. There's a nice pass inside. James quick to Monsetti. It's an and one. Monsetti gets it to go. 12 to four lead early on for LBSU. It looks like we're starting out hot. So we don't go to the free throw line and he knocks down that one. 13 to four game here early on. So nice little lead so far to start this game. And there is a fadeaway shot that time in the post by Abbott Jennings. He is a junior coming into this year. As here is quick, though, answering on the opposite end. We have this high-tempo offense we like to play versus Gonzaga. I'm not sure they'll keep up. Here's a mid-range jump shot from the free throw line. Monsetti has seven. And now he's three or four from the field. That's what we got to do. We got to get him involved. So there's a rebound. Good defense by LBSU. Monsetti pushes it up the court. He's feeling it. He's just going to pull up from three, and he airballs that one. He was feeling it, but that time that one was way off. So 17-6 game. There is good defense by Carrier Walker on the inside. Here he is pushing it the other way, looking for James Quick in the corner, and he will hit the three, 20-6. Three for three for Quick, nine points early on. He and Monsetti are going and they are hot so far. Here is it working it inside. Douglas Taylor trying to get in the post, and he gets fouled. You got to foul Douglas Taylor when he's that close. And how about this? This is an early 11-point lead. This is looking dangerous early on, but here's Gonzaga getting to the basket, and they get the foul on Solomon Teixeira, his first foul of the game. And now it's just a 9-point lead. Here's Gonzaga working it inside. Jump shot missed. Rebounded by Teixeira. Let's see what he does pushing up the court. Carrier Walker into the game now. He just stops and shoots from three, and he knocks it down. Carrier Walker is going to be the future of our backcourt. He hits that one, and it's now a 25-15 game. The 5'8", Nick Miles works it up the court, passing it to the corner, and Walker again from the corner. That one, he had a foot on the line, so it's now a 12-point game. Walker's feeling it now. He gets to the lane, an easy layup, and he blows it. So good defense that time by Gonzaga, but Carriar just missed the shot. Here they are working it inside. Fadeaway two is off the mark. Good defense. I mean, we have hands in the face all game long so far. And now here's Quick getting to the basket. He puts it up and throws it at the rim and gets a foul on McVay. And he goes to the free throw line, hitting both free throws. 
But here is Gonzaga on the offensive boards. That is Devin Dixon, who is the player of the year in the conference, in the West Coast Conference, I should say. And now it's up to an 11-point game. This is Danks in the game, and he hits a corner three. It's now up to our biggest lead of the game. That was 14 points. Here's Nick Miles getting a little bit of pick-and-roll action, and he gets it to go in traffic. He's not going to hit many of those because he is a 5'8 guy, but in the land of the Giants, he gets that one to go. But here's Gonzaga working inside, and that one is a missed shot, but rebounded and good. And now Gonzaga down by 10 once again. Let's see if they can get it to double digits. Here's a mid-range shot, but that is Douglas Taylor. He knocks it down. But look at everybody's shooting percentage. Douglas Taylor is 3-for-3. Three three. Monsetti was shooting very well. And James Quick also didn't make, miss a shot yet either. But Gonzaga is staying in this game. Here there's a little comeback this time. Working it inside, and that is good. And now it's down to a 7 point lead but here's Danks with the ball getting the pick from William Caesar he just shoots from three he is such a good shooter he's two for two from three and now it is up to a 10 point lead but here's Gonzaga they won't go away now with less than a minute left and now we will hold for the last shot here with 15 seconds left here's a deflection though Gonzaga goes the other way in transition and they work it inside, and that's going to be a layup, and it is blown. So now Quick pushes it up the court. It's about four seconds left. William all the way to the basket. He gets it in transition, and that one will end the first half now, 40 to 30. How about that ending there? Nice ball movement in transition. William Caesar takes it all the way up the court, and we are 15 minutes away from our first NCAA tournament since season one. We're up by 10. So here we go to start the second half. Let's see if we can close this game out. We have a good lead. Here is Quick with the ball. Let's look at this first possession. Oh, he has his man on skates all the way to the lane. It's good with the left hand. It's now a 12-point game. Here's Gonzaga working it inside. Nice post move that time by Abbott Jennings. He gets it to go. He is a junior. He's returning next year. And now it is a 42-32 game, but there's a foul on Monsetti. And Jennings goes to the free throw line, hitting one of two. But here's Douglas Taylor. Nice pass inside, but he gets that one blocked. So Gonzaga comes the other way, passing it inside, and Devin Dixon hits that fadeaway shot. I believe that's only his fourth, his second bus basket of the game. Four points, but here's Douglas Taylor the other way. He gets a dunk in traffic. It's now back to a seven-point lead now. But here is Monsetti with a mid-range. He hits that one, now up to nine points. Let's see if we can play some defense now. The next couple of possessions, we have a nice couple of open shots. This time it's Monsetti again. He hits a corner three. And now it's back to a double-digit lead here, up by 12. James Quick from three. That one is off. And here comes Gonzaga the other way in transition. Here they are getting all the way to the bucket, and that is good. Tyrone Washington, the sophomore, gets it to go. And now they're up by 10. Here is LBSU with possession. This is James Quick getting a nice pick and roll, spinning away. Monsetti in the corner, and he knocks it down. Another three hit by Monsetti. He is playing very, very well. And now it's a 13-point game, and now we get it ripped away. But James Quick recovers, gets all the way to the basket. He sees William Caesar for an open layup, and he gets it to go. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And we are seven and a half minutes away from taking this one. Here is Quick to the bucket. Make it 17. That's the largest lead of the game so far. As Gonzaga with possession, just trying to fight back. Here is a drive to the lane, and they get that one to go. That's Pierre Trek. And now up by 15. Gonzaga starting to just chuck up shots here. Nice rebound by that time by William Caesar. Pushing up the court is Macklin. Nobody's going to stop the ball. He's just going to shoot it, and it's good. 18-point lead. That is the biggest lead now. And it looks like LBSU doesn't want to give this one up. It looks like they're hungry this time around. Here passing it inside. Blaine actually in traffic. Missed by Madoki with the rebound and a dunk. And it looks like our bench is even fired up now. They're into the game. And Nick Miles checks in the 5'8". Point guard passing it inside to the 7-footer. And it's Solomon Teixeira on the dunk. Now it's up to a 16-point lead. Another three hit by Carriar. And it looks like this is a little too late here for Gonzaga. They will try to fight back here, but it looks like LBSU is just overwhelming in this game as they hit the fadeaway two from the free throw line. 
And now there's about three and a half minutes to go here, up by 15. Nick Miles gets the pick, this time from Teixeira, all the way to the hoop. 17-point lead here, and it looks like it's just a little too late for Gonzaga. LBSU will go back to the NCAA tournament with a 14-point victory versus Gonzaga. It's been four long years here in this conference, and I can't believe it's actually been that long, but we are finally in the NCAA tournament. We really should have been there last year with an at-large bid, but the NCAA, turn NCAA committee, I guess, didn't like us last year. I don't know what the deal was, but now we are back in the big dance. We'll see where we get matched up in this tournament. I'm guessing it will be but probably between maybe a top top i'd say maybe a seven between a seven and ten seed i'd probably guess if i had to because we beat gonzaga to get in that's a pretty big win and gonzaga is going to have to be an at-large bid as well they only lost four games including this one this season i believe they went 20 what was it 27 and 3 before that game they were actually undefeated in conference this year so i think the committee will likely give us a good seed probably better than gonzaga because we beat them but I guess we'll have to see. Um, player of the game, this game was probably James Quick. He had 14, 7, and 5. He also had a block as well. He was very good. The thing about him playing point is that he has that length. He's six foot seven. He can do it all. He is a point forward. And honestly, probably the best point forward we had. I remember having Wendell Caesar. He was kind of a point forward, but he's more of a catch and shoot type of guy. I really loved playing with him. Now we have James Quick. It definitely adds a different dynamic to the squad. And we get the victory, and we end up 27-7 and before hopping into the NCAA tournament. Let's see where the committee does line us up. So here are the teams on the bubble. The top four seeds, Florida gets the number one overall seed. So they will get the West region. Maryland gets the Midwest. UCLA at 25-7 and seven is the East. And then Louisville ends up 26-4. and four. They are the last number one seed. So here in the West, let's see. Florida is number one overall. And there we are. Number eight seed at 27 and seven. And we will face the University of Kentucky. They are 20 and 11. So this will be an interesting first round game. We will play Kentucky. You already know about their storied history. I didn't see Gonzaga in that side. I'm not sure unless I missed them there. And here in this side, do we see anybody that we really recognize? Not really. Uh, Maryland ends up with that number one seed. And then on this side, there is Gonzaga. They are the number 11 seed in the East. They went 27-4. and four. They will play Oklahoma, who was 29-3. and three. Actually, that's Oakland, I believe. Yeah, that is Oakland. They are the number six seed. Remember, they made it all the way to the national championship game last year. So they're playing the defending national champs. Then in this region, it looks like Louisville will play the winner of the play-in game. And it looks like Duke is the number four seed as well. Villanova is number three seed. And Alabama is the number two seed in this region. So we will end up playing Kentucky. I am happy about our seed. We are eight, an eight seed. That's a pretty good seed, especially for a team like us that, that wasn't in the tournament last year. It looks like the Big East ended up with the most seeds. And it looks like... We didn't end up with more than two, so Pepperdine did not make it this year, probably because they had such a bad non-conference record. They actually did very, very well in conference, but they should have done better in non-conference. They probably would have made it with the at-large bid. They probably will end up in the NIT. It looks like the team to beat, they're saying, is Louisville, and the toughest bracket is our region, the West. So I guess we have the hardest road to the NCAA, I guess the final four, I guess I should say. And I don't know. I don't know how this will go. I don't know how good Kentucky is. They're an up-tempo team. You already know that. Kentucky's always an up-tempo team. So we will have to see how this goes. And if we win that game, we're likely going to play Florida, the number one overall seed in the tournament. So that's going to do it here as we are now back in the NCAA tournament. And we'll see how we do. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always 
been one up on all of these boys. They be trying to front.